In a recent tutorial, I showed you how to use a WordPress RSS feed to pull information into a software or an autoresponder like MailChimp so you can automate your email sending based on when blog posts are published. And a WordPress RSS feed by default does not have the featured image in the RSS feed itself. I'm going to show you a little tweak you can make, some code you have to paste into your functions file that will add the image to your RSS feed. Super simple, it's just copy and paste and make sure you paste it in the right spot. And I'm gonna show you where to do that and how to do that right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here and you like WordPress tips and tricks and getting better at it and serving your clients better, then start now by clicking subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything, and make sure you sign up for the private WP Learning Lab Facebook group where we can hang out, ask questions, help each other get better at WordPress. There's a link in the description down below, so make sure you check that out. And with that out of the way, let's head into the screen capture. The reason adding a featured image to your RSS feed is important is because if you use services like MailChimp, you can use the RSS feed to create automatic emails that are sent to your list whenever you publish a new blog post, and the featured image can be included in that email. And if you want to know how to do that, I have a step-by-step -step tutorial in the card above that shows you how to set up the automatic emailing when you publish a post in MailChimp. And now this is how we add the featured image to the RSS feed. Before we get started, let's check out where the RSS feed is. So if you go to your website, by default, every WordPress site and even the tags and the categories, they have an RSS feed. So the, for the main feed, just go to your domain, whatever it is, forward slash feed, and you should come to something that looks like this. At the very top, we have information about XML, which is what the RSS feed is created with. Then we have information about the overall feed. This is just information about your website, the date, things like that. And then we have information about the actual blog posts, and every one of the the items inside the item category is an individual blog post, which MailChimp can send out automatically if you click that tutorial that I just talked about earlier, also link in the description. But to add a featured image to this information that you can pull into RSS readers or MailChimp or a different email service, you need to add a little bit of code to our functions file. The code is on this blog post, linked to in the card above or in the description down below. Just double click into here, select all of it, copy it, let's open file manager, and then go to public underscore HTML. And it's much safer to edit the functions file inside of your file manager or via FTP, because those things remain accessible, even if the functions file breaks the site. Whereas in the WordPress dashboard, your dashboard's gone if the functions file breaks. So to find your functions file, go into your site root, go to wp-content, go to your themes, find your active theme, which in my case is this one down here and this is your functions file. To be extra safe, I'm just gonna duplicate the functions file and save it as a backup. In case something goes wrong, I can easily revert back to the backup and the site will be back online. I'm just gonna highlight it, click on copy, give it a file name of functions.php-backup. Now we have a file that's not read by the website or the server, but if we end up working in this one and it breaks the site, we can just delete this file, rename this one to remove the dash backup, and our functions file and our site are both back online. Once you have a backup, highlight the file, highlight the active file, click on edit, and paste in at the bottom. It's gonna move this up a bit using carriage returns. Paste in the code from the site, and also make sure that you don't have blank space like I do. I set blank space to move the code up so you can actually see it. Blank space at the bottom of a functions file can cause a 500 error in some cases, so make sure you remove the, the blank space below your code. So this is the, the, the script, as you can see, and we don't actually have to change it at all. It works right out of the box. So let's just get rid of this white space. Click on Save Changes. And now if we update, actually let's just create a new post. Add new. I'm going to call this post my best featured image. Paste that in for the content as well. I'm going to add a featured image to the post because without having a featured image on there, this doesn't work anyway. So I'm just going to add this guy right here. Set featured image. Click on publish. Now when I refresh this RSS feed, 
at the very first item entry, we're going to have that post we just created. So here's the post title, my best featured image. And if we scroll down a little bit, we see under content encoded, we have a link to our featured image. And it can also be pulled in by RSS readers. And just to prove to you this is the featured image we chose, just going to copy that URL, open that in a different tab. And there is the featured image, which on the post editor we see right here is the featured image. And that's all there is to it. So that's how we do it. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit subscribe and the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the private Facebook group and the link in the description down below. And next up, check out one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.